Today we're going to talk about using our multimeter, and one of the most common functions that we use for it is the voltmeter. Now I've got a training board here we can go through and kind of show you what a voltmeter actually does. We have our 12 volt battery that powers up our training board. We have a couple just simple junction points here so we can easily read voltage. We have an inline fuse, we have a relay, and we're going to be able to use this relay to turn a incandescent light bulb off and on. Using our voltmeter, we can walk all the way around the circuit and it'll allow us to find out where we have a problem. We're going to take our meter, we're going to put it on voltage, make sure we're on DC, put the red on positive, black on negative. This says this battery's about 12.2, which is a little bit discharged, but for what we're doing right now, that really doesn't matter. All we need to make sure is we do have a power supply for this. All this voltmeter does is says we saw 12.2 on red, or on the positive, and we saw zero at the negative. That's the only thing a voltmeter does is tell us the difference between two different points. First off, I'm gonna check just the ground side. So I'm gonna check just this wire from the battery to my junction stud, 1.6 millivolts. So I have no voltage drop there. That's not where my issue is. I can check from this ground stud to my actual light. Again, I have almost no volts drop. I'm in millivolts, so that's not my issue. So I've pretty much checked out the entire ground side of the circuit. Now I can move over here and I can check out positive side. We start with the light and we can go to the relay. We'll just work backwards on this side so we're going to complete circuit. I can go over here where my relay picks up power, this side of the fuse. I got a little bit more but I'm still just in millivolts. Go across my fuse, roughly three and a half millivolts. I go to this connector I have in line. I picked up a little bit, still very, very little voltage drop. I go all the way over here to my other junction stud. Suddenly there's where my voltage drop is. So you see we've got almost three volts between here and here. That tells me somewhere in this part of the circuit, I've got either a bad connection or I've got high resistance. Something is impeding that flow, so that's where my problem is. All these types of tests can be easily performed using your Perky's multimeter. It makes it very easy and very accurate to do these tests to know exactly what you have. The biggest thing you got to keep in mind when you are using your voltmeter, you cannot have voltage drop if you don't have current flow. So you have to make sure you have the circuit energized and the load, and your voltmeter will flat talk to you and tell you exactly what's wrong with that system.